than you. Yes, sir. Number one prospect in the yes, ESPN sir. 100. Yeah. He's now a Kentucky Wildcat. How does that feel? Uh, I feel great. You know, I'm definitely excited. You know, I'm happy. I finally was able to make the decision, come to a conclusion. So, you know, I'm definitely excited. And I can't wait. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, right now, I don't know. It's like excitement. It's, it's a lot of thoughts going through my mind right now. But, you know, I'm just happy I was able to finally commit and really just, I say, get it over with. Like now, it's time to focus, you know, focus on high school. And then after that, focus on the next level. So I'm definitely excited. And I'm, right now, I'm happy. But I'm, it's a lot of emotions going through my mind right now. Let it all out. Let it all yeah. out. Yes, sir. Now, you had family on each side of this decision. Mm -hmm. How difficult was that for you during this process? Uh, you know, it definitely was a hard decision for me. But my family, they made it a lot easier for me, you know, just knowing that they, I had their support no matter what, no matter what school I went to, you know, talking to both sides. They said they support me regardless. So just knowing that they had my back like that, it just made it a lot easier for me. It made me a lot more comfortable with my decision. What was your last conversation like with your Uncle Milt? Who's at Louisville? My papa, my grandpa, you know, uh, yeah. like I said, you know, he was one of the first person I told when I finally made the decision, you know. I felt it was important to let him know that. So he was definitely one of the first people I told. And like I said, he just told me that he, I got his support 100%. He happy with my decision no matter what. What were some of your biggest reasons that you picked Kentucky? Uh, you know, it's like, Kentucky as well is like a family for me, you know. I have family that goes there, you know, my brother. Like, that's like my blood brother, so I grew up with him. So he goes there. You know, I have former teammates that went there, like Lance Ware, and then my teammate as well, Aaron Bradshaw, he going there as well. So that definitely made me a lot more comfortable and confident in going there, just knowing I have people there around me that I'm comfortable around. Yeah, get into a little bit more about your brother, Kareem. Shout out on the roster at Kentucky. Yeah. His, role, yeah. his role in this with you. Right. Uh, like I said, that's my blood brother. So I grew up with him, you know. So going there is like going home again to me because I'm going to be with him every day, be able to be with my brother every day. So that definitely played a big factor in going there. You've been around the Kentucky program a long time. Yeah, yes, sir. Since I was younger, you know, I've been going yeah. to Big Blue Madness a couple different times and stuff like that. So like I said, being comfortable, like that made me a lot more comfortable as well, just – knowing that I know the area, just knowing how the atmosphere is and stuff like that. And your parents, what role did they play or what was their best advice? Uh, they told me just to make whatever decision I feel is best for me. So that's really what they said, just make whatever decision I'm happy with and they're going to support me. Hey, your mom, Sarita, your dad, Dewan, played for Cal at Memphis. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, my dad played for Coach Kyle as well, you know. So I knew Coach Kyle, you know, even before, like when I was younger and stuff like that. So definitely, that played a big factor, too. All right, let's talk about Coach Cal for a minute. Yeah, okay. Everybody sees him on the sideline. Yeah. You know, he's crazy and intense during the games. Right. But what's he like when you go watch his practice? Uh, Sometimes, like you said, he's crazy and intense. And then sometimes, <laughs> you know, he, he talks to his players, and he, like, break the plays down and stuff like that. So just seeing both sides from him, how he really coaches his players and really, like, is passionate about it, just – showed out to me from going to the practices, seeing how seeing how well he coached. What do you know about Cal that the rest of us don't know, like, personally about him? What kind of person is he? All right, I say uh, he a funny person. Like, he's goofy. Like, he like to make a lot of jokes and stuff like that. <laughs> so talking to him, you definitely going to laugh a lot. And that definitely made me a lot more comfortable with him, just knowing that he a big jokester and that he's not so serious all the time. All right, talk about their staff a little bit. Orlando Antigua, Chin Coleman, Bruce yeah, so, Flint. Know, that's my guys right there. Like I said, they, they welcome me in like family off, off day one from the rip. So talking to them, talking to them, it's just like, I feel like I'm in a family. Like, they got me no matter what. Speaking about that, had, did Cal say anything to you during the process now that it's over that really stuck with you? Uh, yeah, he said a couple different things, like, when we talked, he would always would say uh, something like, he with me to the wheels fall off, and that he with me no matter what. So like I said, wow. no matter where I went, that he was going to support me, and he was going to be, be there to help me. So that definitely stuck out to me a lot, just knowing that he had my back. What else? Anything else that he said during the process? Maybe funny, maybe serious? Right. Like that I said, kind of 
hit just you. Just joking around. Like I said, just joking around and stuff. And really just tell me just to enjoy it because you only do it once. So I see that's really an important thing that he said. Did he or anybody on the staff say that you remind them of somebody that either played maybe at Kentucky or somebody that they've coached or somebody that they know, whether it's college or NBA? Right. He definitely, Coach Kyle definitely said I remind him of a couple different people, you know, like a couple different players and stuff like that. And that's why he felt comfortable that he could, he could coach me to be the best player I can because he did this before. You know, he'd been through this process before. So he definitely said I remind him of a couple different people. Like who? Give me some names, man. Give me some uh, names. One, one I can name off the top that he always mentioned is uh, Tyrese Maxey. He said I remind Ooh. him of Ooh. Tyrese Maxey. Yeah. yeah, Tyrese Maxey. So that's one person I could say. You got a smile like Maxey too, man. Yeah. Big smile. You yeah. remind me a little bit, or maybe a little bit more than a little bit, of Darius Garland. Okay. With, with Cleveland. That's not a bad cop. Yeah, that's cool. He's a great player. You know, that's an honor. I think he dropped about 50-something the other night, too. Yeah, he could play. He could play. Yeah, he's, he's playing great for the Cavs. Yes, sir. So you got a big Blue Nation fan base now. Mm-hmm. What do you want to tell them about what you're going to bring to Lexington next year? Uh, You know, I can't wait. Like, I'm excited. They're going to they gonna get a great team that want to win, and I can't wait. And hopefully we'll chase, you know, in the end goal, that NCAA championship. You know, because they remind me of Camden fans a lot, how passionate they are about their yeah. team. Because out here in Camden, you know, they definitely passionate, and they support us no matter what. So they definitely oh. remind me of home a lot. I've been in that tiny box yeah. before. Yeah, yes, sir. That, th that thing is intense. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> they show out in Camden. Mm -hmm. They get there early for the game, just like they do in Lexington. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. They create, The fans go crazy out here. And our fans, you know, the supporters, they definitely support us no matter what. Now, I got to ask you this, because uh -huh. it's on the minds probably of a lot of people that are on this feed or going right. to watch it. Right. Do you think you, of yourself as a one and done? Do you go into Kentucky saying, I'm going to be a one and done? Right. Uh, no, nah, I don't really think of that. You know, I'm going just, like I said, just to win. Like, that's the main goal going there, just to win as much as possible and become the best player I can be and the best player that I can develop in. The rest of that, you know, that's in God's hands. Tell me a little bit about your future teammates, Dillingham, Shepard, Edwards, Big Bradshaw. Yeah, they my boys right there. You know, we definitely talked before this, and I talked to them a couple times, and they was definitely supportive, like supporting me, just saying that if I come there, you know, we're going to have a great team, and they willing to work together to win. So that made me a lot more comfortable as well, just knowing that they will buy in and stuff like that. So I can't wait. And that's my guy. They are my guys right there. Yeah, with you committing to Kentucky, Mm -hmm. Now, Kentucky becomes the number one recruiting class in 2023. Yes, sir. You and your guys. Yes, sir. You know, we got a lot of work to do. You know, I can't wait. You're going to have to put in a you lot of work. got a big reputation to protect, too, with that number one class. Yes, sir. We definitely, I feel like we all prepared. You know, I feel like we're ready and we're excited. Yeah, very competitive group you got with Justin Edwards, Dillingham, Shepard, yourself, Bradshaw. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Now, we, talk, we talked about, you know, your parents, your family. But mm -hmm. tell me, who's your biggest fan? Maybe, maybe somebody that's 10 years old? Right. Yeah. I say, I say, off the bat, like, I see my sister. My little sister, definitely my biggest fan. You know, a lot of people don't know, but mostly at all the games, she's screaming and cheering like she a coach, like she playing. <laughs> she's definitely one of my biggest fans. You know, and at home, she always supported me. Just telling me congratulations and stuff like that. So that's definitely one person who I consider as my number one fan. All right, first thing you got to do is go out and buy her a Big Blue Nation cheerleading yeah, outfit, will you? most definitely, most definitely. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, this has been fun. Congratulations. You got a lot What's of work up? to do. Camden, a highly ranked team this year. Then you mm -hmm. can start thinking about, you know, Kentucky next year. But congratulations. Right. I know it was a hard decision. Thank yes, you sir. for doing it with ESPN. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. All right, DJ Wagner.